Okay, so, uh, yeah, I tried to basically say about how fall season should be more careful and not get cocky. Now look at where we are. Still needing air conditioning solutions. Wondering when the weather is going to be cool enough. Like, oh, that's great. You might as well just go for pumpkin spice ice cream. Great. And now I have to think about what to do for Thanksgiving dinner because what you eat produces heat if you're not careful. Like having hot Thanksgiving meals that could lead to disaster. Might as well just have a... Might as well just have like a a Thanksgiving turkey sub. Like, great. Now you just completely complicated things for the month of December. What were you thinking, fall season? Welcome. Welcome. The, the Gamer, Gamer Man's, Man's Lounge. Lounge. Awaken, Awaken to play. Hopefully, things are going well for you guys. As for me, welcome to the Gamer Man's Lounge. And here, we got another news video. It's going to be a real quick news video for the month of November because the holiday season's coming up from left and right. And yeah, I got to do a news video for November. Just like I got to do a news video for December. It's crazy. It's crazy, I know. News videos. So with that totally said, we got not much news. And how my news videos works is that I talk about news stories of weeks past leading up to now. So that way we get caught up because, hey, video game news has been very, very slow recently. So yeah, let's get right on going. Happy 25th anniversary, Half-Life 1. Also so said Valve Software as... Valve Software also took the game and gave it a huge 25th anniversary update that ends up feeling more like a remaster than ever. With that totally said, Valve's like, hey, we got the Night Dive Studios at home. So here's what's going on for this 25th anniversary update. This update brings back the main menu and intro logos from back when the game launched. Also, the game's gonna come carried with updated graphics settings, including widescreen improvements. Also, the game's not only going to support controllers, but also support Steam Deck. That's right, the game's going to be Steam Deck compatible. There's going to be tons of improvements to the UI, gameplay, and graphics. And it's going to, while adding in new content, bring back lost content, including player models, including... not just including a skeleton model, but in terms of single-player content, there is the uplink, which is supposed to be the demo for Half-Life 1. It is absolutely included in the Half-Life Anniversary update. And also, by the time I am recording this and by the time this video is probably getting uploaded, you have until the 20th of November to get this game 100% free for yours to keep for free. Okay, until the 20th. After that, you have to pay 10 bucks. Fork over 10 bucks. If you haven't played it before, go play it, go get it, go play it. It is absolutely recommended. And I'm glad to see Half Life getting this 25th anniversary update. And boy, they really went all out. It's like, hey, it's 25th anniversary. What do you think? It is the way that it is. Anyway. Now, moving on to the next news story, where we're talking about another Asus L. For crying out loud, this time it involves a typo for a $700 anime-themed limited edition motherboard. Now, this motherboard is supposed to be themed after Asuka from Evangelion. Now, what ended up happening here was that Asus already released it with a $700 price tag, but there's a typo found in the motherboards that misspells the Evangelion name. And yeah, Asus came forward and apologized for it. They're offering replacement parts and an extended warranty. And yes, like I said, the motherboard was already out now with $700 being the price. Like, that's a gigantic, big, huge yikes. It's not as bad as the previous one with the motherboard BIOS. That, 
yeah, and they that happened when they were about to release the ROG Ally. Made me a little hesitant over that. Kind of made me want to kind of see, hey, uh, hey, uh, guys, uh, over at Lenovo, please don't mess up the Legion Go. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's like Asus is not having a very pretty year. They're coming out with an ROG Ally, and I know they're coming out with their GPUs, but they're constantly taking L's, and I think there needs to be a series that there needs to be serious reevaluations happening. And it's not just Asus; it's also other companies, AMD, Nvidia. Nvidia is in dire need of reevaluation of their business decisions, like especially including the 40 series and how they're priced. They had to like it took in it took AMD to make Nvidia snap, and then all of a sudden, okay, we need to put a fifty dollar off price cut, and it got wild. So yeah, Asus isn't the only company that's slipping up. We know AMD, Nvidia. Also Sony, also Xbox, also Nintendo. Ugh, it's a mess. Also, Gigabyte got caught in some shenanigans. Also, I remember last year NSI got in trouble with their AIOs. Let's see if they improved now. Uh, it is the way that it is, but we have a massive... We have a massive quality control issue. It's not just hardware and software too, games included. It's also moving on over to food. And yeah, it's moving on over to food. As a matter of fact, the other day, like when I got a hold of a banana that was bought off a grocery store, I noticed that one of the bananas had a had a nasty cut on it and a nasty brutal cut on it i had to that banana needed to get thrown out and i had to get a new one it was like oh my goodness it was a mess also we did do a food review on wendy's they did good but it could have been better when it came to the ghost pepper ranch thing they should have toasted the buns on it but hey it stayed strong despite its issues hey this is why I absolutely but the fries though the fries though yeah that's another thing to think about too so yeah the 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 quality control situation the quality control issues they're they're more across the board it's hitting hardware it's hitting software it's also going past and it's moving on over to foods from left and right. It is the way that it is. And I did warn that this quality control problem is going to move past gaming hardware and gaming software. I don't know what to tell you at that point. But with that totally said, I'm going to go ahead and go for a quick little break. Until then, here is a video game recommendation. Let the lounge recommend you a game. It's Burger Time, a beloved Data East arcade classic, which you could totally find re-released on PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, hell, on two Evercade collections for Evercade consoles. And yeah, basically what Burger Time essentially really is, is that you form hamburgers. You form all the hamburgers in the stage in order to clear the stage and move on over to the next. You have a unique group of courses, and then the game loops and loops and loops until you run out of all lives and you score the highest score ever. And however, you have to be careful because... You have to dodge the evil, angry vegetables and other burger toppings willing to stop the chef you play as. However, you do have a limited supply of peppers you can use to stun these enemies. But, however, should ammunition show up, you collect the ammunition. With that totally said, Burger Time is a beloved classic, and it's a challenging, fun game. With that totally said, check that out. And here, we got Gotcha Game News. By the way, we got a new Timon and Franchise newcomer who happens to be named Spinel. So with that totally said, Spinel is going to be a playable character in Action Timon. She's going to be showing up on 
action timing in as a playable character. Now she was already introduced into the action timing storyline when it got a new chapter. I remember uh, it had to be chapter eight or chapter nine. It got a new chapter, but it was going to bring in newcomers. So Spinel, that's how she pronounces her name, by the way. She's going to be a playable character. So with that totally said, she's going to be a suppressed type, a demon character, and her main weapon looks to be a broadsword. We don't know if this is going to be a new weapon set or a, or it's going to use a current weapon set similar to, say, another Tymonin. So that could definitely be the case. So with that totally said, uh, moving right on over to the next news story, Azure Lane is getting a, another collab event. This time, it's going to be with Senran Kagura. Yeah, th this franchise, the only thing that manages to keep that franchise afloat is its mobile game. I'll get to that later. And collaborations. Okay, so with that totally said, out of all the super rare units that have been confirmed so far, there the story is really developing as I'm reporting on this, by the way. All right. As a matter of fact, there's a new super rare unit that just showed up. Homura is being added as a submarine unit. And also, something's about to really go down because this collab has more something to do with the latest New Link mobile game that's going on for the Sanren Kagura franchise. Now, Sanren Kagura's got the latest mobile game called... It's the new Link mobile game, and it's gonna you're gonna need a powerful Android device for this, by the way. And uh, yeah, if you could get that figured out before somebody decides to get this game released globally, that would be appreciative. This game should get a global release. Hopefully, it should be in the right hands. But with that totally said, the character unit reveals are going to be currently developing as we definitely speak. There's definitely going to be more to this, so expect more to be revealed at the official Azure Lane Twitter. So with that totally said, we got a new playable character, Spinel, and we got a collaboration event. Like I said, source links in the description, but no, seriously, this winter is going to be very much tougher this time because here's the thing. Finding a new game that you're going to like and enjoy that's going to keep you good. Finding something that you're going to like that you're definitely going to be busy with is tougher than ever. Especially with the growing quality control situation going down. And that's the thing. Unless you have the stuff that will put together a good gaming computer, as long as you get the parts to put together a good gaming computer... I wouldn't suggest any newcomer just like you have to really be careful with what you wish for for Christmas because you have strict international content policies coming from Sony that goes very strict on PlayStation games regardless of age rating. And that's another thing. And now we're seeing situations going on with Xbox and Nintendo and you're having to utilize the backwards compatibility catalog a whole lot. And that's the thing. The fact that you have to use the backwards compatibility catalog a whole lot than ever, that's another thing to ever think about. And yeah, the best place to start if you're going to be new to gaming right now in today's day and age is getting a hold of a gaming computer, getting the parts. Even I had to basically, like... Even I had to force myself into this PC building shindig. I had to build a second computer build that will replace my laptop that was outdated because that laptop was so outdated. It had a processor that was way too old for Windows 11. And the fact that Windows 11 is really getting shoved down our throats, that's the thing. And not only that, a 1060 Ti GTX, yeah... Uh, we had to do what we had to do for the bedroom build. And, yeah, I'll basically update you in. And, and right now it's a matter of how things are going. Uh, I guess when we can, we'll basically start 
doing what we can, but right now I'm good as is on my bedroom setup. I'm getting pestered around by a fly. It is the way that it is. Life happens. But hey, with that totally said, uh, things happen. But this holiday is, is going to be pretty much very... We're going to be very limited for the holidays. That's another thing to keep in mind. So yeah, we have to be careful about our holiday wishes because making sure we don't pick a game that we want for Christmas, we get the game for Christmas, and then all of a sudden, hey, it's a Christmas gift gone horribly wrong because it's a microtransaction, bug-filled shenanigans fest. That's another situation here. You have to do a whole lot of detective work before you even decide on what game you want to get. That's another thing that I have to point out, too. It's crazy. But anyway, with that totally said, that's all I gotta say. And I will be looking forward to you in the next video. Peace out.